Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels. We here to do another Let's Play Uncharted 3, baby. Uncharted 3, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception, baby. Forget about it. We finished part one and two. So we're saving. Ooh, baby, forget about it. Watch out, BSP. Bishop's coming. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their minds, wake in the day to find that it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act their dream with open eyes to make it possible. This I did. Hands up. Enjoying yourself, pal? Oh, yeah, you're a comedian. Nice warm welcome. They're both clean. My apologies. One can't be too careful. I'm guessing you're Talbot? Mr. Sullivan and Mr. Drake. That's right. Do you have it? Let's, uh... See the money first. Carter. It's all there. Mm -hmm. Now let's see it. I'll need to authenticate it. Of course. Silver. 16th century, Elizabethan design, inscribed with Sir Francis Drake's motto. Well, it appears to be genuine. Well, of course it's genuine. If I may ask, how did you two come into this? Does it matter? <laughs> My client will be very pleased. Hold on a minute. Sully, this is fake. I assure you, Mr. Drake. Oh, oh, you are right. This is phony as a three-dollar bill. What the hell are you trying to pull here? Perhaps I should be asking you. This is bullshit. Deal's off, pal. And you? You can tell your client. You blew it. Come on, Nate, let's get the hell out of here. You're not really in a position to negotiate. Now give me the ring, take the case, and walk out of here like gentlemen. While you still can. Do as the man says, son. I don't think so. You're a thief. Well, now, that's ironic. I've killed more dangerous people than you. No! no. This one's mine! No! no. You and me. You have a 
work on me. Come on! Yeah, I'll pass <laughs> Go, oh, Sully. Alright, mate. You're done for. Oh. Oh. How's that, you piece of shit? There you go. You don't scare me, mofo. Up your ass. Even Sully could kick your ass. Get up out of here. Look at that. Come on, let's get out of here. I ain't can kiss my ass. Let's go. So they got anything good to take? Nope, I guess not. What's this? Hey there, big fella. I got him! Uh, I don't think so. Dude, I fought Frost Giants. Get him! Yeah, you spill my drink. Come on, now, let's break it up. Where we are? Look at that, baby. You got shit on me, baby. Can I, join in? I even helped Sully out. Look at this. Right up your fucking balls. Piece of shit. Oh, I got a lot of shit, boy. Man, this got out of hand in a hurry. Oh, Sully. I can't leave you alone for two seconds. Oh. You really want me to hit you hard now. Give me a second there, mate. I'm gonna put his head in the fucking crapper. Come on. I don't sweat you. There you go. Piece of shit. Come on. They have the steroids, pal. Even steroids can't even beat me. In your face. How's that? That's the fucking steroids in the morning. Just my pride. Come on. Let's go, Nate. Here. We can get out the back. You look like shit. Works for me. And smell like it. We smell like one, too. In your face. Yeah. That's come on, Sully. Let's get out of here. Oops. These guys don't learn, do they? Oh, damn it. Typical bloody yank. All talk. Hey, 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 hey. He's had enough. Haven't you, mate? Nope. We're just getting started. Stay down.
Hello, Victor. Kate? Still wallowing in the gutter with your protege, I see. Not very dignified for a man of your age. Should have known you'd be behind this. Well, oh, careful now. Wouldn't want you to melt. <laughs> Same cocky little shit. So fearless. I wonder what you're really afraid of. Not bullets or blood or broken bones. No. You get off on all this, don't you? Cheating death. Or not. No. <sighs> Mr. Sullivan, I won't harm your precious boy. I merely want what's mine. Give me that back. Cut her! Oh, no. Oh. Shut, Shut up. up! You fool! Oh, you're bloody welcome, Your Majesty. Marlow, we have to get you out of here. Oh, come on. They're a right pair of arseholes. What? Now that's a fuck. One hell of a brain fart. <sighs> oh boy, here we go, back in time. Let's figure out what the fuck made Drake tick. All right. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, no, that's not it either. I thought we were back in Star Wars. Hmm, that's not it. Hmm. Chump, move it. Huh. Hmm. Nope. Huh. <laughs> so is this way you got to entice this little kid's uh, in curiosity? Maybe upstairs. Huh. Not here.
Ah. Hmm. It's gotta be in one of these cases. El museo cierra en 15 minutos. That gotta be Sully. Look at him. A younger version of Sully. It was rotten anyway. Ah, now where did he go? Leading me somewhere. Gonna grab me real soon. I feel it. Now, what's he doing? Oh, damn, it's locked. Looks like he's going upstairs. Hmm. Gonna have to find another way so up. So am I.
What's he doing in there? I need to get a better look. Yeah, I don't want to rush your pal, but can you move ah. along? Yeah, casi está, señor. Just that I got a lady with. You know how that is. Sí, sí, señor. Making a key. Uh. Yep. Keep uh, that's a ticket. Gracias. Adios, amigo. Okay. I gotta get that wallet. Crap. I can't go down that way. Oh no, boy. Through that building, I bet I can spot him from the roof. Look! Oh, who's your friend? Yeah, the bitch that uh, had me killed before. Don't want to lose him. Damn it. Don't want to go down there. I gotta find a way to get that wallet. Distraction is the key. It's right there in his pocket. Now's my chance. Let's try that again. Let go of me. Ah, that's what I thought. Now don't try to run. You're a long way from home, son. Don't call me. Parents must be worried about you. <laughs> yeah, not likely. Okay, sore subject. That was a nice lift back there. You're pretty good. I don't know what you're talking about, old man. Hey, don't call me that. The technique is really sloppy, though. You're telegraphing all your moves. You're crazy. Yeah? You've been tailing me all over town. Probably figured me for an easy mark. But you picked the wrong guy, pal. Uh, uh. What? My wallet. Fine. Maybe we'll just call the police. Go ahead. Of course, 
They might wonder why a middle-aged Taurus is following young boys down alleyways. <laughs> you are a crafty little beggar, aren't you? I know how to take care of myself. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you don't like the cops any more than I do. Good point. Kid. The wallet. Had to try. Of course you did. Hmm. Clever little guy. But I have the key. All my moves, huh? Forget about it. All right. Museum's closed. All right, so let's get on this rope. never make it easy. I'm gonna have to travel. From here all the way across. There it is. Oh, that was close. Candy from a baby. Another treasure. Simple. Whoa. Oh, damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. Okay. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Now, the ring. What ring? <laughs> Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. Stop him! Stop the boy! Run, you son of a bitch. 
Run, Forrest! Forrest, run! Break the door down! I think so. Oh God. He's heading for the roof! Catch him! What do you think? Shade! Break it! Hurry! Let go! Shit! Oh, crap! Who the hell are these guys? this are you shitting me excuse me coming through sorry about that there goes Sully Agent! Whoops. Shoot the motherfucker. What are you shaking for? Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. Relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? Look, mister, no offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. 
It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was going to take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem... Sic Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for them. Look, kid, a client wants something, I obtain it for a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, uh, well, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month. Tops. He was hiding something. Something big. How big? Like secret mission from the Queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder. <laughs> I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. Okay. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? <laughs> OK. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. Great things come in small beginnings. And... They're gone. All right, lads? Oh, shit. That's you were going to put a silencer on that thing. Sally, you've got no sense of drama. Right. <laughs> All right. All that racket's going to bring the cops any minute. Let's get the hell out of here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. Uh, you were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on his good side. All right, Brodeis, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. <sighs> Told you they'd take the bait. How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. And now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? Let's get moving. Well, hurry it up, Nate. Shit, the filth. This way. What? Come on. 
Really? Come on, Charlie, what's the holdup? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. <laughs> Big boy afraid of small spaces. It'll all be over soon. That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, oh that wasn't too bad. Fucking sissy. What was wrong with you? Nothing, I'm fine. It's blocked. Wait, we can get around this way. Yeah, yeah, right. Or we could just use a little muscle. Oh, there's a thought. I got it. Put your back into it, mate. We haven't got all bloody night. Thanks for the help. Come on, move your lazy asses. All right. Looks like the coast is clear. You should be more careful with your head, you know it. <laughs> Evening, lads. All right, darling. Hey, beautiful. Back out? Yeah, uh, it was a thing of beauty, Chloe. I went off without a hitch. You're unusually quiet. What's up your bum? Oh, well, Charles, uh, enjoy yourself a little bit too much for there my taste. Go. <laughs> My ears are still ringing. Oh, for God's sake. Helps if you have something in between. <laughs> well, it looks like I missed out on some fun. Yeah, you did, actually. It was very, very uh, cathartic. Yeah, it's funny. Do you have any trouble? Nah, easy peasy. And you're sure they didn't see you trailing them? Not a chance. So, which door scary pop inside him behind? Behind that one there. The green one. They drove in ages ago, and it's been dark ever since. You think they're still in there? Well, I haven't taken my eyes off it. And no one's gone in or out. Hmm. Think these are really necessary? I mean, it's not like they're expecting us. It's like old times. It's in a bow. Hey, we're just gonna sneak in and we sneak up. Just like that. Yeah, fair enough. But any trouble, you shoot first and ask questions later, all right? I'm all with that. Man, I was... So we kill them bitches. A briefcase back there and walk. Yeah, you got a lousy poker face, mate. Hey, trust me, that's nothing compared to what we're onto. Yeah, well, at my age, a bird in the hand, you know. Ew. Didn't I tell you? Oh, please. Look, I just hope you're right about this. Seems pretty quiet. You think they're still in there? Well, we're not gonna just barge in the front door and find out. Well, we can't afford to waste time standing here. I'll find a way in, check it out. up. You three stay here. Got it. Got this. Yeah. Sorry about that. Uncharted one and two. Wait a minute, where did it go?
Where the hell did they go? This doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it does. I'm looking at the pillars right now. Stupid fuck. See these pillars? They're holding something. Something on the ground. Give me a hand with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. Does anybody see a car? Because I don't see a car. I don't understand. <laughs> yeah. There's the tread box on the floor. Yes, the green door, I'm sure. Nate, we are losing time here. And that damn briefcase is looking better and better. All right, come on. They didn't just vanish into thin air, right? There's got to be an explanation. Just spread out and look around. The tar tracks. I can still smell the exhaust. Yep. Tire tracks. Still wet from the rain. Looks like the car turned here. Come on, you're supposed to be the smart one. What are we missing? Hey, check this out. Oh, some kind of mechanism. Yeah, maybe. Four tires, four points of contact. Sully, stand right there. You two, back there and there. All right, everybody, on three. Ready? One, two, three. And? Well, this has got to be it. Wait. Wait, it's the light. Sully, aim your beam at the wall. Like headlights. <laughs> Voila. Well, I have a goddamn cadaver. Um, Nate, just who are we dealing with here? Oh, there's only one way to find out. We'll track the car. You head back to the van. We'll try and stay in radio contact. I'll let you know when we get through to the other side, all right? <laughs> Wherever the hell that is. Just be ready for anything. Might be a quick exit. No doubt. She's the best driver in the business, you know. So I've heard. Well, I think we agree this is more than a little weird. Who the hell drives their car underground? Oh, well, let me think. Someone who doesn't want to be followed, you know, it's just a guess. Smart ass. It looks like they bored straight into the old service tunnels. Hey, over here. It's locked. Not for long. That's right. Come on. We should be able to squeeze through here. I think. Lead on, Macduff. Oh, for God's sake. What? Lay on. <laughs> on, Macduff. <sighs> Can we hurry it along, please, mate? All right, back there? Yeah, yeah, you know, just, just not keen on the old tight spaces, that's all. Uh, just keep moving. Oh, thank God for that. Who the hell is Macduff? Is there no bottom to your ignorance? I see them! Yep, yep, I know how to sh- 
Oh yeah, nice one, mate. Thanks. Okay, tunnel's right below us. At least we're still on the right path. Oh, that is a long way down. Yes, it is, kid. Start jumping. Ah! Careful, it's slippery. Sneak attack. Jesus Christ, have you forgotten how to shoot? Hey, there's a passage up there. And a ladder. Yeah, looks like it's jammed though. Let me see if I can loosen it. Here it comes. There we go. Oh, mate. <sighs> Looks like there's some sort of gate up there. You cut her a little help here. Sure, I got you. Uh, dude. All right, ready? Pull. Got it. That was simple. Okay, Charlie, come on. I 
is the tunnel again. That's too far to drop, though. We'll break our damn necks. Crap. It's a dead end. Down here. Charlie, who the hell are we dealing with here? I don't know. Whoever they are, they are seriously weird. Look at the ironwork. Why, it's gotta be Victoria, maybe older. Man, all this stuff's been rusting for a century. Maybe we can get through here. Counterweight up there. Looks like it's stuck. Right, one of us should climb up there and see if they can dislodge it. Good idea. Guess who? <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm the monkey. Oof. Was there? What is this place? What it is, is I'm gonna have Thanks for having our back. Hey, there's Marlo's car. All right. From here on, no more guns. Guns? His fucking mind? Hands up. Oh, I don't know. We must have taken a wrong turn somewhere. Yeah, is this King's Cross? Don't move.
Oh, well done, mate. That a boy. Wow, look at that train. Something tells me something with the queen. Yeah, yeah, but it's got to be almost services. Jesus, just when you think things can't get any weirder. These look like knights. Get back. Take them out quietly. <laughs> Nicely done, boys. Come on. They must have gone through here. And it gets weirder. Oh, this stonework. Looks like Tudor. 16th century. is really starting to give me the creeps. No, 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 not through the door. They're probably still in there. Good point. Up this way. Quietly, Nate. Over here. No, 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 seriously. Who are these people? I'm not interested in your excuses. He was a loose cannon and you should have known. Yes, it is regrettable, but... Not regrettable. Sloppy. Your poor judgment could have cost us everything. 400 years of searching. Finally, Drake's secret will be revealed. What is this? I don't understand. It's a forgery. What? That's not possible. I verified it myself. This isn't the ring. Really? I held it in my hands. I saw him put it around his neck. This doesn't make sense. We've been duped. Cutter. Uh-huh. You men stand guard and stay alert. We may have been followed. You, come with us. Find them and bring me that ring. I don't care how you get it. <laughs> Alright guys, I know you're anticipating the my move, but right here we're gonna pause, save, and we'll continue another episode of Let's Play.